Hey everyone, it's Groovy Green Hat. Here we've got a pretty nice battle against Ray. R E Y, not R E Y. And I'm I'm gonna refer to my opponent as he, but I actually don't know what gender my opponent is. And if I'm wrong, I'm very, very sorry. But yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So, leads off with a Rhyperior, I lead off with Zigzag, I fake out, mostly to see what item it has, and I see that it does not have leftovers. Which doesn't actually tell me all that much, but I switch to Dawnfan because I know Dawnfan can take uh, Rhyperior hits or hits from Rhyperior, I suppose, and it rock polishes. So I still don't know what item it has. I don't see any life orb. I suppose it might be an expert belt. I don't know. I roar to scout out what else he has, and he I roar him out to a Gardevoir, and I'm also not gonna stay in here. I go to Zigzag because Zigzag is my special wall of sorts, and the Psychic does a very nice small amount. And much to my surprise, this Gardevoir does carry Shadow Ball, so that deals quite a bit to Zigzag. But I do get up my Stealth Rocks, and that's really what I was going for there. I was kind of hoping he would Shadow Ball again, but he makes the good move in Psychics as I switch to Oatmeal. Unfortunately, Oatmeal does survive it by just a, a 78 HP, and yeah, so I get badly poisoned. I go for the Crunch, and I get a critical hit, and it does KO the Gardevoir. Yes, that crit did matter. Without the critical hit, um, Guard of War would not have gone down. I don't know how much it would have changed the game later on, but that crit right there in the heat of the moment did matter. So I am sorry about that. Goes out to an Absol. I'm taking a Sucker Punch, so I got to Trump it, but I figure I, no matter what physical hit it uses, I can take it. And it actually Night Slashes, which does a, you know, so so amount. And Night Slashes again. And at this point, I'm getting a bit maybe suspicious that it might be Scarfed. I think if it was Banded, it'd be dealing a bit more than that. I think it's Scarfed. So I don't go for the Roar. I think it's going to stay in and keep attacking. So I go for the Earthquake, and that ends up working out. Because he does stay in, and so I can Earthquake for some more damage. Now I'm pretty sure it's Scarfed. So I go to Tux, who takes very little from the Night Slash, and I am, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Because about the absolute being scarf because it switches out. I swear to as it switches, it goes to a Swampert. And I really hate switching and wasting a boost, but this is a situation where I really just had to. I go to Google Crow, because I'm pretty sure the Earthquake was coming. And now I Nasty Plot, and he Avalanches. And fortunately, I did not attack or deal damage to the Swampert, so I do survive the Avalanche with a bit less than half less, and I Hidden Power Grass for the KO. Yeah, uh, when I hatched this... Zubat, I was so happy when I found it had full power in Power Grass. I was thinking, wow, that's awesome. I guess I could have just taught it Giga Drain, but you know, Hidden Power is cooler and slightly more powerful. Goes out to the Absol, and I'm pretty now I'm almost positive it's Scarf, otherwise there'd be no reason to send it in on um, Crobat. And I wasn't sure what it was going to do, but I had to go to Zigzag, just as fodder. Uh, I don't think Zigzag had too much use for me at this point. I could have used it for fi to fake out later, but I decided not to. I bring in Tux, because I know that the Absol is locked on Psycho Cup. And I Sword Dance, I switch it out to the Infernape. I see the close combat coming, so I endure to go down to my Torrent boost and my Salic boost. And, um, yeah, I do believe I go for the Aqua Jet here. As yeah, as he switches out to a Salamence. So now I'm at um plus one and I've got my Salic boost and I've got I'm in torrent range. So that um Aqua Jet dealt a fair amount, about a quarter. And either I won the speed tie or I'm faster and I do KO with the flail, so that works out pretty nicely. He goes out to the Absol and it just dies from the stealth rocks. So Tux is getting a bit of a rampage off here. And I go for the Aqua Jet but because of the Intimidate and the fact that I'm only at plus one and solid rock and all that, the Rhyperior does just barely survive my Aqua Jet. So Tux's minutes of fame have to come to a screeching halt. But it's fine. I go out to Trumpet. Um, not really fear any moves. I roar here because the Rhyperior will die on the switch in, and I forgot what his last Pokemon was. So I decided to roar just in case he decided to switch. And it is it is the um, Infernape. I Ice Shard because, you know, why not? Just a tiny bit of extra damage. And you Flare Blitz to take me out. But now I'm just going to go into Oatmeal. And because he's not running max speed Infernape, I can just outspeed and KO with Facade. So it was a really good game, Ray. Um, yeah, and that, that, was, that was really good. So, yeah, the Rapier is going to go down to Stealth Rocks.
But yeah, so good game, great game. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Leave a comment, rate the video, subscribe. Um, don't worry, tag video will be up very soon. And yeah. That's kind of all I got to say. Hope this video was fun. Yeah. Cool. Alright, that's all.